Hey guys, and don't forget to check out wildlifecrystal.com for more fun learning. It's a multimedia platform for parents, teachers, kids, and students. So you can learn way more, see all the videos, and we have blog posts, and we also have a wildlife crystal shop where each purchase helps support wildlife conservation initiatives. And you can even get this cool water bottle that I'm drinking out of today with this little chameleon. He's really cute. We're trying to reduce our use of plastics. Wildlife crystal and Kaya the koala. Kids are our future. Take action now. Welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wildlife specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the caring and loving Kaya the Koala. Great to be here today, and great to see all of you wildlife specialists here too. Yes. You are right. You look wonderful. And all of our friends out there, they look wonderful too. We are ready to hear all of the amazing fun facts that you have for us today. Okay, no problem at all. Especially since the animal of the day needs our immediate help. Here it goes. The animal of the day is a beautiful, majestic insect that is found in almost 90 countries around the world, located in Australia, India, Western Europe, all of the Americas, and some of the Pacific Islands. This animal begins as one insect at the beginning of life and then turns into another insect. This animal is a master migrator. They can travel 250 miles or more each day, but cannot do the flying if the weather is cold. Wow, I think those are some of the coolest clues that you have ever given us. I bet this animal sees wonderful things on their daily journeys. You bet. Okay, go ahead and think about it. I'll give you five seconds. I think I've got it. Let's all guess together. Say it with me. The animal of the day is the beautiful butterfly. Wow, you got it, great job. To be more specific, the animal of the day is the monarch butterfly. Are there many kinds of butterflies around? Yes, there are many kinds of butterflies around and many species of each kind. But there are only three species of the monarch butterfly. Oh, tell us a quick fun fact about the monarch butterfly. They have sensational senses. They have a highly developed sense of smell. They can detect or smell the scent of their host plant from great distances. This helps them to locate the milkweed plant, which is their favorite plant to lay their eggs. Oh, cool. You want to hear a cool fact? Monarch butterflies are superb navigators or pilots. They use a combination of the sun's position, the Earth's magnetic field, and landmarks to help find their way during their long migration. They are so amazing! Why did he tell us at the beginning that they are in need of our immediate help? Are they in danger? Yes, the monarch butterflies are in danger. These butterflies are heading towards extinction because of pesticides, overdevelopment, and climate change. This means that they could be gone forever. Their population has declined 85% in the past 20 years. You see, as with many animals, habitat loss is a major problem for the monarch butterfly. The constant expansion of developments for humans is causing monarch butterflies to lose the places they need to live and thrive. They are also losing their food supply because of the destruction of so many of the plants that they need to eat. This is sad. If they don't have a home, that means they don't have a family. You got that right. Monarch butterflies are also being threatened by climate change. The suitable habitat for a monarch butterfly is shrinking. They cannot live and thrive in extreme temperatures. If it's too cold or too hot, then the monarch butterfly will die. 
Climate change is causing extreme and abnormal temperatures, which is causing a decline in the monarch butterfly population. This is horrible. If they cannot live and thrive because of climate change, that means that they cannot even mate or lay eggs. You are correct. In fact, scientists are saying that monarch butterflies may be extinct or all gone in 60 years. This is terrible. They definitely cannot live without food. I've heard enough. Please tell me how we can help these beautiful and harmless insects. We wildlife specialists are ready for action. The most important thing is to get the word out about the dangers that monarch butterflies are facing. Many people don't know anything about this lovely and innocent insect. Let's make an environment club and plant more milkweed plants and other flowering plants so the butterflies can have plenty of food. Let's also ask our teachers to plan outdoor activities and field trips to different parks. We can walk around and see monarch butterflies and lots of other animals in their natural habitat. This will give us a better appreciation for nature and the importance of taking care of animals. This will also make us more relaxed being around insects, and then we will be less likely to kill them when we see them in our homes. What a great idea! We can even have a contest to raise money for our environment club by seeing who can draw the most amazing pictures of monarch butterflies and other animals that we see out on our field trips. Then, once we have the 12 winners, we can turn the winning pictures into a calendar that we can sell for more fundraising. Wow, you are full of great ideas yourself today. I love it. We can even ask our teachers to have more lessons about animals and about things we can do to prevent problems for animals. That is great advice. We will definitely get the word out. We wildlife specialists love to spread all of these fun facts to our friends and family. You are such a social butterfly, never afraid to speak out and speak about all the helpful things that we all must do to help all animals that we love so much. Yeah, that is so true. Can you tell us how the caterpillar is related to the monarch butterfly? Good question. First, let me tell you about what this intricate insect goes through to become a delicate butterfly. You see, before a butterfly becomes a butterfly, he has to go through four different phases or stages before he is an adult monarch butterfly. That sounds interesting. Please go on. After mating, which usually happens in late spring or late summer, depending on the species, the female or queen will lay her eggs. The monarch butterfly female can lay 290 to 1,180 eggs in her lifetime. The eggs are tiny and oval shaped. The bigger the female monarch butterfly is, the bigger her eggs. After three to eight days, the eggs hatch and out comes a small caterpillar or larva. The caterpillar starts to eat and grow, eat and grow. Along the way, the caterpillar will molt or shed her outer covering a few times, kind of like a snake sheds her outer skin. A full grown caterpillar is about five inches long. This is the length of five or six pennies in a line. The caterpillar is just as attractive as its future self. The caterpillar has white, yellow, and black stripes all over her body. And soon, her caterpillar will weave or build a cocoon around her body. Wow, that is a lot of work. I'm exhausted just listening about it. Yes, but don't worry about the caterpillars. They are very strong. They hang upside down in their chrysalis or cocoon for about 10 days and then they slowly start to peel away and come out of it. A beautiful black and orange adult butterfly then comes out. The new monarch butterfly will stay upside down until her wings are dry enough for her to move around and fly. Her wings are about four and a half inches long from one tip to the other. The process of mating from laying eggs to adult butterfly will usually take about 30 days. Wow, I just noticed something peculiar. The monarch butterfly's wingspan is almost the length of the caterpillar before getting into their chrysalis. 
Good observation. You wildlife specialists really pay attention. I'm so proud of you all. Hey, that reminds me. Do you know what the monarch butterfly said to the caterpillar? You look very familiar. <laughs> Good one. But I have a question for you. Do you know what looks like half of a butterfly? The other half of a butterfly. Get it? Because butterflies are symmetrical. Please don't give me any math questions. I get butterflies in my stomach just thinking about math. Okay, no more math. Listen to this fun fact. Monarch butterflies are always on the move. In fact, one species migrates or moves every year. This type of monarch butterfly travels long distances to get to warmer weather. Some have been tracked from Canada down to Mexico. They will mate, lay eggs, and the new adults continue the journey. How far do they travel? Like I said earlier, some monarch butterflies can fly up to 250 miles or more in one day. And like us, they sleep at night and they are awake and eat during the day. That is so cool. We sleep at night and eat during the day too. Can you believe that we all have something similar with the monarch butterfly? I just wish we had beautiful wings too. Believe it or not, we have similarities with lots of other animals too. I wonder what they like to eat. That's an easy one. Monarch butterflies are herbivores, or animals that eat a plant-based diet. They eat nectar from flowering plants in their habitat, especially the milkweed plant. Here's another fun fact. The monarch butterfly is often called the milkweed butterfly. This is another reason why it is so important to stop deforestation and pesticides. Thousands of milkweed plants are being destroyed on a yearly basis, and this is the primary food source for the monarch butterfly. If the monarch butterfly cannot find a suitable place to lay her eggs, then the population will certainly suffer even more. And this is another time when we see how important it is to keep a balance in the environment. Great point. We must be very aware of everything that we do when we are outdoors so that we can take better care to not destroy animals' homes. We love them and need them so much. Do monarch butterflies have any natural predators? Yes, of course. They are most likely to be eaten by birds, praying mantis, frogs, and even mice. Monarch butterflies are actually poisonous to predators. The predator will not die when they eat the monarch butterfly. They will just get very sick. Can monarch butterflies hide too? They do not hide. They use their unique wing patterns as a defense mechanism. The wings of a monarch butterfly have a distinct orange and black pattern, which serves as a warning to predators that they are toxic. The bright colors act as a defense mechanism to deter potential predators from attacking them. Oh yes, I've heard all animals with very bright colors are a sign that they are poisonous. You are so right. Here's another fun fact about monarch butterflies. Their four wings have scales. They have two large wings on top and two smaller wings on bottom. They sort of overlap a bit. Their scales are not strong or sharp like fish scales. The scales are thin and almost powder-like. That is really interesting. We get to learn such new and exciting things with you. I love being a wildlife specialist. I'm so happy to hear you say that. You are great too. How can we tell which one is the female and which one is the male? That is a great wildlife specialist question. Their wings can help us identify males from females. Male monarch butterflies have two small black dots on their lower or bottom wing. Females do not. Male monarch butterflies have thinner black vein-like lines across their bodies. In females, these lines are thicker. I never knew how amazing insects can be. Thanks again. You have given us so much to learn today. Being a wildlife specialist is like being a soldier for Mother Nature. That is a great way to look at it. Remember, it's up to us, the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's all work together to make sure animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. 
And now it's question time. Question time. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we just learned today to the test? I'm ready, spaghetti. True or false? A monarch butterfly is a caterpillar before she becomes a butterfly. The correct answer is true. They are caterpillars first. Another name for a cocoon is A, a Chrysler, B, a chrysalis, C, a Christmas, or D, a croissant. The correct answer is B. A chrysalis is another name for a cocoon. How many eggs can a monarch butterfly lay in her lifetime? Is it A, 118 to 290, B, 18 to 29, C, 290 to 1180, or D, just one? The correct answer is C, 290 to 1,180 eggs. You guys did great. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal.